What is up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to fix the program can't start up because of the VCOMP 110 file, DLL file is basically missing. So I'm going to basically show you how to fix this error and it should be a very quick fix so I hope you can easily follow along. So what you want to do is I'm going to open up a browser and we're going to essentially go into uh, Google and we're going to download VCOMP 110.dll. We're basically going to download this file. So most likely it'll be this first website. Uh, to me personally, it's usually one of the best ones. You can easily get everything you need over here. And you want to go over here and you want to download the applicable bit for you. Uh, so either 32 or 64 bit. You want to get the right file. You want to get the, get it and essentially have it downloaded. So just make sure it's the right one, uh, right architecture. And we're going to kind of go from there. Let's just do 64 for the sake of the video just to show you what's basically what you're going to be doing. And we're going to let it download. And you're going to see it's going to basically download there. Now, you might need an extractor. So just an FYI. Uh, I have WinRAR. It's free, technically. So you can just easily have it. So you can see I have the DLL file right here. Now, what you want to do next is you're going to open up a file explorer. And you're going to go to this PC and into your local drive. Uh, so we're in local C. In here, we're going to go to Windows. And in here, we're going to look for two things, either System32 or SysWow64. If you have both, I would advise you to kind of paste it into both spots, whatever architecture you have. Uh, but you want to go into System32 and then literally just paste it. You're just going to drag either Control C and Control V or just drag and drop it in here. Uh, it's going to either, it's most likely not going to overwrite anything because you're missing that file. If it says overwrite, just let it overwrite it. But you're going to essentially do that for both these locations and then that's it. You're going to restart your computer and you should be able to open up that program and you should be good to go. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to help you guys out. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click, uh, click that notification bell. And that more turtles out. Peace.